All right, guys, we are back um, here on Hogwarts Legacy. Here on, no, no, we're back here on Hogwarts Legacy on RPG, and we are uh, jumping into the rest of the uh, Collector's Tomb. So let's go ahead and go on in, guys. You know, it's a bad feeling. I have a really bad feeling about what's about to come out of the ground here, and there we go. Expelliarmus. Good for you. Expelliarmus. Defend us. That one now. Incendio. Confringo. Okay, now I gotta get those. Lumos. We're gonna put you here. That's where I'm going to be going to. Lumos. This looks even more complex. Okay, now, how do I get... So, 
Lumos. Okay. I need to bring moths to the door. Right. So, I have to have a moth here to raise that platform to get up top. But, that's how I get that moth up. Lumos. I wonder if... Lumos. Repair on. Nope. Nope. Okay. That's not working. Revelio. Oh. There's another moth. Lumos. Well, that would be why. Well, there we go. The bolsa. Lumos. Final resting place. Oh, Lord Gok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. This could get really bad. Rebellion. Something that weird is going to happen. I know it. Dead Ashwinder. Better show this to Lodgok. I know there's a mechanism to open this door. Lodgok. The sarcophagus had been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn! They got here first! We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranlock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are oh, behind me. An entire camp of Rookwood's thieves. I might need assistance. Unfortunately, we have no time. Get to that helmet before of Rookwood course. does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. Now, I can take Do that you think time. those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic? Castle must have been quite stately in its time. Incendio. Couldn't bring them.
Guardian Leviosa. Repulsa. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Time, but oh well. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to go back to Hogwarts soon. There's one of them. Where's the other? Where is another one that I have to do? I'm never going into it, but I haven't finished it. Allow me to put Expulso! Incendio! I know what that means. Merlin trial. Let's see if we can find another spot to land. That was easy. This is for Rookwood. Uh -oh. ah, another pit. I used to be stationed near Irondale with Selwyn. It's about time Rookwood took control. He doesn't need Ranrock. Fine use of my talents, this. Get out of here. Let's play, shall we? 
You're no match for me. God. Get in, steal, and get out. Who lived here, I wonder? I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. That's I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done. This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It it's looks stunning, stunning Rodcock. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, then I'm glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you lying to me? We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. You're lying Many to me. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. You little piece of turd. You're lying to me. Aren't you? You're lying to me. Oh. Let's go ahead and hop in. We have a little bit more to go on our level. Inventory. We've got a lot of things, guys. So, just quickly. Okay. Um, go to our gear. We got some things we need to get uh, figured out. Some things we can sell. We gotta get this one uh, identified. We gotta get this one identified. Got some things we can play, some things we can sell, some things we have to get identified. Okay. Alright, so we can sell a lot of things, okay? So, um, we're gonna go ahead and. Check a couple more things. Okay. Now, let's look at the quests. Let's see where we're at. Let's open a beast class, but I have to go and do these. Okay. So I have to get a troll bogey. Um, so I have to go kill a troll. But to do that, I have to finish Oh, I gotta go talk to him real quick Don't I learn a new spell? Aren't I supposed to learn a new spell? Hold on. Okay, Beast Blast. So this one gives me Glacious. This one gets me... Alright. So this one gives me Descendo. Um, wants me to field test on the Levitate enemy. She also wants me to... collect the Troll Bogies. So I need to find the troll to clear so I don't kill guy, will not guy better. So um, we also need to go work on some other things. So we're gonna go find a troll. We gotta go find a troll now. So I know where to go. We go back to where we were.
Alright, let's see if we can find uh, a quick enemy to do something with. Well, stay away from them. So I know which one that is. Uh, you know what? Let's go to Beast Class. Or are going to be splashed? Here for Beast Class? Beast Class. <clears throat> no, time for Beast Class. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Okay. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy. Poppy Sweeting. Don't oh, worry Poppy. about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. <laughs> the tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. <laughs> Here, you can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> okay. You can use so my brush. Doing? Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to All think right. it the enriches beast his brush experience. The beast's petty brush used to nurture metro, metro beast. Right? And then assign the beast's petty brush to your spot set. Okay. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind okay. giving him some beast feed? Beast feed is used to feed the nurture by when it's happening. Right? And then it's not beast feed to your spell set. We're going to have to get a new spell set. What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. I okay. think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Okay. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Okay. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Okay. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? Okay. This way. The measles are over here. That's a measle? It's like a goose, right? No. What the heck is that? Oh, couple of measle whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> oh, stupid thing. Oh. What are you trying to do, man? What in Merlin's name are you doing? 
Ugh, tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is what Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Okay. Persephone was onto them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. <laughs> the measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Right ah, here. There you are. I would like a moment, please. Yes, ma'am. What's up, Professor? Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? I enjoyed it. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, okay. which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, yes Professor. They're nearly as bad as the Savagers in Rookwood's Poacher Pack. <sighs> Sadly, we're oh. the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead well. beasts? Terrible waste of resources. Surely the Poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Yeah. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you yes. catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Yes, Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Yes, ma'am. Hey, over here. Come on. What's up, Poppy? Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. Oh? Okay. You've intrigued me. Very well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. Where are we going, Poppy? I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Okay. Well, thank you. I Where are we think... going? As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. the weather we're having don't you think yeah poppy where are you taking me it really is much better if i just show you don't worry we're nearly there it's just okay. ahead so we're still in beast mode stand back okay She's just magnificent. Yeah? Go on, introduce yourself to her. But be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. And that's about. 
akal. Yep, you bow in front of a hypocrite. Hypocrite. I knew it. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. <laughs> you can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come yeah. and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. So, what did you think of High Wing? Brilliant. I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? Wow. I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and Highwing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety wow. and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, yeah. so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poacher's influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, wow. talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. Okay. Sounds that suspicious. does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on, what they're doing. Okay. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Yeah. Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Yes, we will. Okay. Now, we are going... Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts. She hasn't been herself lately. Okay. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. Okay. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet okay. him there when you can. This is where we were going to go. I've not heard from my Uncle Roland in quite some time. Okay. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Okay, well, we were already planning on going to be going to the River Apartment. So let's go ahead and... What is this? Yeah, that was the remote requirement. So we were already planning on going there. So let's go to the remote requirement, guys. Deke. What's up, Deke? Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. And Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. <laughs> D calls it a knapsack. Knapsack. Um, 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 what's going on? What the heck? Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Oh, okay. Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She yeah. also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, 
Perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely yeah. what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along then. Okay, where are we going? Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. All right, we'll come right back to you, Deke. I've got to figure out a few things real quick. So. We have to identify some gear first. Okay. Thank you. Now. Um, potions. What do I need though? I need to be used. Okay. Conjure something now. Oh. Conjure. Wait, what? You can add fertilizer to this plant to increase its yield. You can create fertilizer by conjuring a dung composter. Okay, so a dunk composter. Utility. Okay, where would this be? I need a... Okay, where? Hey! These things! That's what I need. I gotta purchase it from two and scrolls. Okay, well that makes sense. Alright, let's go ahead and do this one. <clears throat> hey, I'm ready to learn. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect! Deke loves an outing. Okay, Deke, what do you got for me? That was a dark time in Deke's life. Deke found himself in service of the cruelest wizard he ever met. 
A oh. nasty poacher. Dick hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh, no. oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. Okay. Where are we going, Deke? We have arrived. Okay, what is this? Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. Okay. All right. Okay. To use that to address you as we press uh, sign. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's sign it. So, question is, we're going to probably assign it here. Right? Because I don't need that. Okay. Whoopsies. Wrong thing. There we go. You got one. Okay. Now, Deke, what do we do? I managed to rescue a puff skein. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff skeins, and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Uh, Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, okay. not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. Okay. A job and all, perhaps. All right. Okay. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Okay. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Okay. So we have a pop skin. Some journals. Good job, and all. What's up, Deke? You got here pretty quick. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The Jobanals are just here, in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Okay. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Uh, what, about can't find beasts? what if I can't find any beasts in their usual habitat? Beasts won't stray too far from their homes. Look nearby or simply wait a moment and they should return. Eh? Do you, you have any advice on how I can rescue more elusive beasts? Levioso is not only helpful when rescuing flying beasts, it, it can also help rescue beasts that are generally hard to catch. Okay. Try using that spell the next time you encounter a small or otherwise elusive beast. Okay. Would you mind talking a bit more about what it was like working for your former master? Deke's master was not kind to beasts or to Deke. He saw beasts only as a source of income to be used for potion ingredients and labor and... Deke will not say more. Okay. But Deke is grateful to be at Hogwarts where he can help care for beasts and make amends for the things his master made him do. Okay. Then I shall go and rescue a job and all. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Okay. Wingardium 
do cooperate, won't you? Oh. I rescued a Jobanol. <coughs> Deep box your Jobanol finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of. A herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees on okay. this footpath. Deke will see you there. Okay, Deke. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, okay. but only under the light of the moon. Okay, so, so the way. unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. Okay. How did you end up at Hogwarts after working for your former master? Deke's prior master had no family, so when he died, all of his house elves were relocated by the Ministry. Deke was the most fortunate one, as Deke was sent to Hogwarts. Deke's friends were not as fortunate. Okay. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. Alright, so let's go ahead and wait. Okay. Let's see if we can rescue a moon cap. There they are. Oh, cute little fellas, aren't they? No, you don't. All right. Let me Come on, buddy. Get here. No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. Gotcha. Yeah. I'm not going to hurt you. Okay. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. He'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Okay. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. Okay, Deke, let's go back to the room. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. Yes, we do. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine yeah. all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Uh, are we going to do a magical beast Perhaps spot Perhaps if now? you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. 
Yep. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a magical beast moment here. But we're inside the little sack. Hmm. What exactly did you think of? Yep. I called it. Heavens! You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. I knew it. Meet you inside when you're ready. A magical beast moment, guys. A legit magical beast moment. Look at this. It's amazing. Every beast. Where are we, Deke? <clears throat> It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Now to come out here and take care of all of them. Oh. Deke thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so, too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Okay. And speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. Okay. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Deke can show you how to use them. Very well. Oh, cool. I shall let you know when I have some. Okay. The magical beasts are nurtured there by materials and magical properties. Feed your beast, petting, brush, or some other ways nurture them. Tap R and we've already done that. Most excellent. Where's the where's my job not? There you are. Come over here. And there's new cap and er, new stuff in here. There's new stone in here. Cool. Come here, Puffskin. Hey. And we have we have to name all you guys, aren't we? I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. Okay. An enchanted loom. Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing. Oh, nice. Making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. Okay. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Okay. So we have to go back out here. We're ready to get some, some new things. Okay. 
Okay, gear features one primary offense and a defense stat by default. Magical materials can be used with the loom to add and upgrade a secondary stat or apply traits to your gear. Multiple small upgrades can yield a meaningful boost in combat power. New beasts can be rescued at beast dens or unlocking quests. New trait recipes can be collected at bandit camps. Okay, well, that's cool. So, I'm currently... Hmm. Decreased damage taken from gun bots. Increased HMV. Oh, yes. Okay. Traits. Increase damage. Oh, nice. Now, the question is which one do I want to put on? I should show Deke. No worries, Deke. There's Deke. Oh, wait. Let's go ahead and put these on real quick. So, let's go to Cloak and Robes. That was an outfit. Okay. Where's the other one? Neckwear? There it is. Those are some nice cells. They swear. Okay. Let's go back real quick and let's do one more thing. Use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. So does the loom work with all clothing? Can I use the loom to enhance any item of clothing? The loom will only enhance clothing of a certain quality, Deke suspects you'll find more valuable clothing as you explore. Deke also knows that some of the shops in Hogsmeade can provide you with a variety of clothing for you to enhance. Well, that's good to know. Thank you, Deke. Thank you for your help, Deke. Okay, so let's go back in the barbarian. Okay, can we name them? All right, so we can't name them. Okay, that's things. 
All right, so let's look at the new quest. So, meet Sebastian and Philip Croft. Okay, so that's this one. Um, we still have, we got this one to do, this one to do. Oh, let's see if uh, Flex Week. Weird. What? That's weird. I'm a little confused by what's going on, but... Let's see if I can reset myself. There we go. That was an odd thing. Okay. Get to the new leaf. Now let's make. Let's do a couple of uh, Woody Welds. That's all of them. Okay. So. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. No. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Oh. I'd like the room to feel natural and earthy as though I'm outdoors. Yeah. Hmm. Sounds perfect. There we go. I like that. Okay. Now let's go. Okay guys, well that is going to be it for today. Uh, we'll see everybody on the next episode of Hogwarts Legacy here on RPG. You guys have a great rest of your week.